Hi guys, my name is Lilia Buckingham. I'm here at Famous Birthdays and I'm gonna answer some of your fan questions. All right. It's a long one. Oh, if you could bring back one iconic couple that's broken up in 2018, who would you pick? That's tough. There's been so many breakups. I wanna say like Selena and Justin because they were so cute because they dated when they were so young and then the fact that they came back together, I was like, oh my God. But then they broke up again and now he's marrying Haley Baldwin. So, but I ship them too, so it's fine. What's your favorite episode of Dirt? That's tough. I really liked episode 107 where me and, Ma or me and Celeste have the sleepover. Episode 10 of this season is really good and we actually just like had the table read for season two. And there are some insane episodes in season two and you guys aren't ready. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Oh, easy. So I was a really big dancer when I was younger and there was this, I was competing at this really big hard competition and I just performed and a really amazing dancer and his brother came up to me, Sage Rosen, and we were maybe gonna do a duet or something and it was like kind of the first time that I was meeting them and I went up to give my dad a hug and I, he was holding coffee and I knocked the coffee out of his, his hand and it got all over Sage and his brother. And I was like, it was one of the, my most like mortifying moments. It was so embarrassing. I was like, so I guess we're not doing that duet. Um, but it was really funny. What is one of your greatest accomplishments? Hmm, that's hard. I don't, I don't know. I guess I just finished writing a screenplay, which was, like felt really good because it's hard to motivate yourself to like finish something like that um so i'm i feel pretty good about that also creating positively social something that is hopefully gonna help make a difference for kids our age and yeah i don't know hopefully more to come what is one of your favorite moments on set oh that's so hard because we have like every moment on set is my favorite moment but one time, like kind of at the beginning of filming Total Eclipse, we all learned, so it was like, we were doing one of the cheerleading scenes. And so we all learned one of the cheers from Bring It On. And that was so fun. And now all of us just like know how to do it. And then Dirt, one of my favorite uh, moments on set was when it was my birthday and we were in San Bernardino and it was so hot. And I was like, so I'm not gonna be doing anything for my birthday. And then they, at lunch, they came and brought out a big cake and everybody sang to me and it was like the sweetest. It made me so happy and it really brought me closer to that cast. It was awesome. What are you currently reading and what's your all-time favorite book? I'm about to start reading 1984 because I was wearing a shirt that's had like the 1984 logo on it and then somebody, I don't remember, or I was, oh yeah, so I was in Atlanta and someone was like, oh my God, what a cool shirt. Have you read 1984? And I was like, no, this is super embarrassing. Like I haven't, I'm like one of those kids who's like wearing the shirts, but I like had, haven't even read it. So just for my own pride, I'm reading 1984. And my favorite book of all time is probably Before I Fall. Um, it's amazing and like kind of underrated and just the writing is so beautiful and the message is really amazing, so. Alrighty. Do you have any advice for aspiring actors? I think my best piece of advice would be to do it because you love it. Because you can always tell when somebody loves it and when somebody doesn't. And you don't wanna act for the fame, you wanna act because you love acting. And um, it's hard in this world because you're constantly getting rejected with auditions and you're being told, oh, you don't look right for this part. You didn't really deliver this right. It's a lot of no's. So if you do it because you just enjoy playing a character and enjoy reading a script and enjoy being someone else, I think that's my best piece of advice. I kind of got off track, but do it because you love it. Who do you ship on Dirt and Total Eclipse? Huh, that's tough. Definitely on Total Eclipse, I ship Spencer and Jenna. They are so cute. Um, I ship, I have to ship Dottam. I sh and then on Dirt, which is Diana and Autumn, and then I ship Luke and Autumn because I feel like they're just meant to be. And who else? Oh. I ship Sabrina and Daniel. Hopefully they get some scenes together because they're so cute and they're just meant to be. All right. What do you like to do in your spare time with friends? 
Um, we love watching movies. We love just like going out, not like shopping, but going and trying new things. And we can learn, like my good friends, we can just sit around and do nothing and like have fun together. What is one of your favorite quotes? YOLO, no, I'm kidding. Um, but I think one of my favorite quotes is, I think this is so simple, but it's like live for the now. Because like, if you just keep anticipating things, you'll realize that you haven't been living in the moment and especially in a world where social media is so prominent. I feel like a lot of us live on our screens and so I think it's important to put them down and realize that this is real life, this isn't. So um, I think, yeah, that's really important for us kids to realize. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, I would love to see myself hopefully having a book published, maybe even being in a screenplay that I wrote. That would be amazing. That's where I want to see myself in five years. If you could change one thing about the social media world, what would it be? There's a lot I would love to change about the social media world. Um, I think it's important for now to, for people like me and a lot of my influencer friends, I think it's important for us to show who we really are. Um, seeing people edit their photos to change the way that they look is really sad because it's like they're big, they have these big platforms and these kids are trying to live up to these expectations that aren't real, they're fake. And so um, it makes me sad seeing that. And I also would love to change that people use their platforms to bring other people down and hate on people um, because they think that they have the right because they're being very cowardly and hiding behind a screen name. Um, it's really disgusting and sad and kind of awful that our generation is developing to be that. So I would love if people just use their platforms to bring each other up and it's totally fine to not like someone, but you don't have to post about it and bring them down because that's being a cyber bully. Can you tell us about your first screenplay? What other projects are you currently working on? Yes, I was actually talking to my mom about it in the car. So I just finished the first draft and it's basically a coming of age story mixed with social media because that is our coming of age, you know? We are living in a world where social media is basically our lives and so it kind of centers around the hacking and the leaking and kind of having to be so aware of what you're posting and what you're taking photos of. I can't really say anything else because who knows, it might kind of change because it is only the first draft, but it's, it's to show that um, I want to mix like sweet coming of age that like we've all watched with the crazy social media world because that is our life. Is there a cause or organization that you're passionate? Oh, I missed a question in that. It was what other what what other projects are you working on? Sorry, we're working on season two of Dirt. We start filming in a couple days. I'm so excited, and I'm currently writing a book. Uh, with the incredible Sarah Shepard. She is, she's the woman who wrote Pretty Little Liars and she's very much a mentor to me and is teaching me how to write as well as she does and it's been the most amazing experience. It's like working with one of my heroes. She's such a good writer and such an amazing storyteller and I can't wait for you guys to read it. All right, this is, is there a cause or organization that you're passionate about? If so, what is it? Um, there are many. All of, well obviously the Me Too movement I think is so important because I know I'm only 15, but we do live in a world where as, not just girls, but I feel girls are very afraid to talk about some of the bad things that happened to them because they're afraid of um, the repercussions. I mean, I know this is pretty political, but I mean, it's, you see people in power that are accused of these horrible things and you're afraid to come out with something that's happened to you that's horrible because you don't know if people are gonna believe you. So I think that is such an important movement that's going on right now and giving women more power in this world because it's time, you know? And then another one is obviously Positively Social because we are, social media is so new to us that we don't really know how to use it. We're using it to hate on people, you know? And that sucks. So I think it's super important to teach kids and edu not just kids, teach people how to use social media in the correct way, in the way that it's supposed to be used. So, mic drop. Oh, it's one more guys, it's the last one. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I always say like telekinesis, because if I'm like sitting in my bed and I wanna like get something from around my room, I could just like use my mind. 
Yeah, probably telekinesis. I just think that'd be so or teleportation. That'd be so cool. Just like I hate being late to places and I obviously can't drive yet, so I hate pestering my mom to drive me places. So if I could teleport, I could get everywhere on time and go wherever I want. That's it. All right, that is all. Thank you so much, Famous Birthdays. My name is Lilia Buckingham, and you can follow me on Instagram at it's Lilia, just L-I-L-I-A, and then you can follow me on Twitter. It's Buckingham Lilia. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>